you want to know what are the five things that intensive care at home can do that no ICU and no intensive care unit can offer, stay tuned. I've got news for you. Hi, my name is Patrick Hotzel from intensivecareathome.com. And today I want to talk about the five things that intensive care at home can do that no ICU and no intensive care unit can offer. Let's dive right into it. Number one. We are the only provider that actually sends CCRNs, critical care registered nurses, into the home to manage long-term ventilation with tracheostomy for adults and children. We're also the only provider that can send CCRNs into the home to manage BiPAP CPA ventilation without tracheostomy. We're also the only provider that can send CCRNs at home when it comes to tracheostomy management 24 hours a day without ventilation. Also, home TPN home IV potassium infusion, home IV magnesium infusion, and also home palliative care. We're also managing central lines, peak lines, Hickman's lines, as well as port catheter, port access at home. And we're also sending critical care nurses into the home for emergency department services. So that's the first thing that no intensive care unit or intensive ICU can offer. Number two, the other, the other thing that only intensive care at home can offer and no ICU or intensive care unit can offer is actually community access for an intensive care patient, right? All of our clients at home that otherwise without our service would be in intensive care do have community access. That means they regularly go out in the community, right? Picture that and compare that to an intensive care bed. No patients in intensive care do have community access on a regular basis, if at all. The limitations are stopping in that intensive care bed, or the, the limitations are confined to that intensive care bed or intensive care cubicles. Cubicle. Contrast that to intensive care at home, where our clients, all of our clients, have regular community access with critical care nurses 24 hours a day. Number three, intensive care at home can actually offer quality of life, and quality of end of life for our clients. Once again, I argue after having worked for in critical care for nearly 25 years in three different countries, in intensive care as well as in intensive care at home, no intensive care unit can offer quality of life or quality of end of life. If anything, it's actually appalling, which is why I started intensive care at home, because those are exactly the things that we can offer quality of life and quality of end of life for our adult and pediatric clients at home. Number four, what intensive care at home can offer that no ICU and intensive care unit can offer is actually quality time with family. Now, anyone that's worked in an intensive care unit or anyone that has had a family member in intensive care knows there's no quality of quality time for families in intensive care, but there's plenty of quality time with for families with intensive care at home because intensive care is coming into people's homes, which means there's lots of quality time and care can be structured around what a client and their family wants and needs, right? Number five, another thing that um, intensive care at home can do, no as you can offer, is long-term job satisfaction for CCRNs. Our staff turnover is very minimal, right? Most ICUs benchmark is having staff turnover less than 17%. Now, our staff turnover is much less than that, I'd say. It's probably around the 5% mark. It's just the natural attrition. So, you know, I think it's fair to say that we have a, a great nursing workforce, but also a great admin workforce that enjoy working for us, and they're self-selected. They have chosen to work for intensive care at home. They resonate with our mission, vision, and our philosophy. They resonate and want to be part of our clients and their families' lives. They want to make a big difference to our clients and their families' lives. And they're very committed, once again, to our mission, vision, and philosophy, right? And I argue most ICUs have a high staff turnover because CCRNs are not satisfied. You know, it's too political. Whereas you come to us, the client is the focus and it's all client-driven. And... I have a bonus for you because you stayed right until the end. What intensive care at home can also offer now is 
home x-rays. Now, we don't offer that as a company. However, we are working together with mobile radiology. And big shout out to Michael Montalto, the medical director, and his team, and also Simon Shea. And they have created a fantastic service where they are now offering and providing home x-rays, including home chest x-rays, up to x-rays, whatever is needed. And again, an ED admission is not needed because we can do the home x-ray. That is fantastic. It's amazing. And it just goes to show that other organizations think outside of the box as well and make sure that people, even very vulnerable people, can stay at home in the comfort of their own home without needing to go back to ED or to ICU once again. It's all about making it a win-win situation. Now, with intensive care at home, we are currently operating all around Australia and all major capital cities, as well as in all regional and rural areas. We are an NDIS approved service provider all around Australia. We are TAC approved and WorkSafe approved in Victoria, IKEA New South Wales and NIISQ in Queensland and DBA all around the country. Our clients and we as a provider have also received funding through public hospitals, private health funds, as well as departments of health. We are the only service provider in 2024 that has achieved third-party accreditation for intensive care at home nursing. We have achieved that accreditation since 2012. No other provider has therefore created that much intellectual property for intensive care at home nursing than we have. We are therefore also in a position to employ hundreds of years of intensive care nursing experience in the community combined. We are also the only service provider that actually provides evidence-based care in the community. Check out our mechanical home ventilation guidelines on our website at intensivecarethome.com and those mechanical home ventilation guidelines are evidence-based. And if you're at home already and you realize that you're set up at home on a ventilator, tracheo, sweep, BiPAP, CPAP, home TPN, whatever the case may be, and you realize this setup isn't working and is even dangerous, um, and that your current team, if you have one, is not having the skills, expertise, mindset, or your provider doesn't have the accreditation and the knowledge and the skill to keep you at home predictably and safely, please reach out to us um, so we can help you to keep your home predictably. I'll give you a case study so that you can understand what I'm referring to. Our very first client over 10 years ago was a client who was at home on a ventilator with a tracheostomy C1 spinal injury. And he was going back to ICU all the time because they had a team of support workers basically trying to do intensive care nursing work. And of course, he ended up in ICU all the time. His life was at danger because they couldn't manage him at home predictably because they didn't have any ICU nursing skills. So lo and behold, the client reached out to us eventually and we proved our concept there in no time. And when, while we were working with him, he never, ever went back to ICU, right? So, therefore, we can do the same for you if you're in a similar situation or if you want to escalate your help, if you want to elevate your funding, we can help you with that because we've been involved in the <coughs> advocacy for our clients from day one. Because we've been involved in the advocacy from day one successfully, we have a very good understanding what needs to happen to elevate funding, get funding for 24-hour nursing care at home, and so forth. That's also why we are providing level two and level three NDI support coordination. We're also providing TAC case management in Victoria. Once again, helping our clients with the right level of funding for intensive care at home. And if you're an NDI support coordinator watching this and you're looking for nursing care for your participants, please reach out to us as well. If you're looking for funding for more nursing care for your participants and you don't know how to go about it and what evidence to provide, I encourage you to reach out to us. We can help you with the advocacy and with the evidence we provide. And yeah, specialist nursing assessments as well done by our critical care nurses and some of them have a legal nurse consulting background. And if you're a critical care nurse and you're watching this and you're looking for a career change, we're currently offering jobs for critical care nurses in the home in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane in Albury, Wodonga, in Bendigo, in Victoria, as well as in Warrigal in Victoria and in Geelong in Victoria. If you have worked in critical care for a minimum of two years, pediatric ICU, ED, and you have already completed a postgraduate critical care nursing qualification, 
we will be delighted to hear from you. I have a disclaimer though. Because we are offering a tailor-made solution for our clients, which includes regular staff, our clients want to have the same staff coming over and over again because they're so vulnerable and so special. It's all about building those critical relationships with our clients and with our team members and having regular and stable teams. That means if you're looking for agency work where you can come and go, this is probably not the right fit for you on a long-term basis because our clients want and need regular and the same staff coming over and over again. So it's all about building relationships and nurturing them. And if you're an intensive care specialist or an ED specialist, we also want to hear from you. We are currently expanding our medical team as well. We can help you eliminate your bed blocks in ICU and ED for your long-term patients or for your regularly admitting patients in your ICUs or ED. And with our critical care nursing team at home, we are here to help you take the pressure off your ICU and ED beds. And in most cases, you won't even pay for it. But even if you do pay for it, we cut the cost of an ICU bed by 50% and we're saving roughly $2,000 per ED admission. And if you're in the US, in the UK, and you're watching this and you need help, we want to hear from you as well. We can help you there privately. Once again, our website is intensivecarethome.com. Call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to info at intensivecarethome.com. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families with intensive care at home and intensive care. Click the like button, click the notification bell. Share this video with your friends and families and comment below what you want to see next. What questions and insights you have from this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarethome.com and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care for now. Thank you.